else, but we have to be safe. So we'll be online the rest of the week as long as we all behave. Hey, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay six feet away. Oh, what fun that we will have if we're back in school on Monday. It is Friday, December 4th. Welcome to Santa's workshop. <laughs> no, no, um, no, no. Today we will begin with prayer. Today's prayer is based on a, a verse from Luke, first chapter. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before, go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender mercy of our God by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord our God, we thank you that you let your light shine out every day and every year. Thank you that we may always look to you whose right hand will bring order into everything and set all things right even in difficult times. May our hearts receive strength to persevere and go on praising you, for you remain no matter what happens on earth. You are our God. You have sent us the Savior, and we can draw close to you. You have made us the firm promise that your day is coming when truth and justice will arise on earth to the glory of your name. May the hearts of many people turn to you so that they worship you, and call to you for help. To the glory of our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Got a few quick announcements today. Pioneers, NHS will once again be managing our annual toy drive. Every year, the National Honor Society collects toys for families in need during the holiday season. This year, we will be collecting toys beginning now and this will run through December 17th. You may drop off any new unwrapped toys, stuffed animals, or games for children of any age at the sleigh in the front of the auditorium near the front entrance. All the toys will be brought to the Salvation Army in St. Paul. Help us spread the holiday cheer. This is another reminder of the optional uh, mass for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception on Tuesday, December 8th in the Hill Marie Auditorium. Father John Mitchell will say Mass on Tuesday during Win B from 1.30 to 2.30. You must sign up on the Sign Up Genius, Genius found in your email from Ms. Wall. You will be pinged for that win time. Sign up as soon as possible. We are going to have to have a limited number of people in that Mass. Sign up closes on Monday, December 7th. Check your email for further information. And again, a reminder that if you are considering any kind of change to your schedule for semester two, including adding a study hall or changing a level, the deadline to do so is Wednesday, December 16th, less than two weeks away. Please reach out to your counselor and have your parents provide permission prior to the deadline. If you are looking at changing anything about your semester two, schedule. Remember that the Student of the Month celebration for this month will be moved to Thursday, December 10th, 7 a.m. in the auditorium for students, and the Zoom for parents is at 7 a.m. as well. The Advent prayer service has been moved to Friday, December 11th. Just a heads up, Tuesday, December 8th, we will be having a Christmas advisory, lots of fun Christmas activities, including door decorating. So please bring supplies in order to do that. Also be watching for information from CARE. They will be sponsoring a gift drive for hospitalized teenagers. More information to come on that. And lastly, watch your email today and this weekend regarding information about school for next week. Make sure that you watch for any emails regarding that. Today's quote is short, but appropriate. We all must suffer one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is that in the long run, the pain of discipline weighs ounces and the pain of regret weighs tons. And I would like you to try and extrapolate that to how painful it may be to wear a mask and to social distance 
and to keep yourself healthy compared to being online school, not having activities, and all the other things that result from not following those rules. Please, please protect yourself, protect your family, protect the others around you so that we can get back to the things that we want to do. Wear your mask, social distance, no large group activities, wash your hands, be safe. Thank you for listening. I'm very anxious to see you back here. The plan is we're all going to be here on Monday, December 7th. Have a great weekend. Go Pioneers.